to Swoosh Crew, before we jump into the video for today, it is Memorial Day. However, this is not about cookouts, barbecues. It's truly about the men and women serving in the military who are no longer with us. They sacrificed their lives so we can enjoy simple things, freedoms within this country, looking at YouTube, buying sneakers. They no longer have that ability. They can't spend time with their friends and family like you may be able to do today. So please keep that in mind. And to all of the friends and family that grieve every single day for the loss of their loved ones truly you have given a great sacrifice and that doesn't go unnoticed so thank you as well ladies and gentlemen you know it's a real one you know it's a real pair for women when we get a special box now the women's jordan og will come in a typical box that you would see for the air jordan 13 however it's not a 13 it is the women's og and we actually have a card insert which is something we don't even see anymore so i thought that was a really special touch so here we have the card insert on the front side you see red black and white we have the jump man directly in the middle surrounded by w's and then you also have a millimeter uh, ruler that will go around the sides of the card insert in itself but it's more important of what's on the back because again these cards would provide you history and information for that specific jordan and this is no different so on the back in 1998 jordan brand took inspiration from not only the greatest basketball player in the world but also the undeniable skill style and spirit of the Jumpman women's community to create its first women's air jordan silhouette inspired by a community that was ready Ready to claim its professional spot on the court, the silhouette was designed for the women who were owning and growing the game across the world. From the dimpled leather of the Air Jordan 13 to the herringbone traction, the shoe was designed to do what MJ did, to fly. And that's exactly what we're going to do today, fly and jump right into this women's Jordan OG. Now, you have a suede upper also with, I'm pretty sure, synthetic leather, but the dimples, now that's what we're used to seeing on the Air Jordan 13 and it's no different with this OG if you recall it followed up right behind the actual release of the Jordan 13 back in the day so 97 98 is when we saw the 13 and then 1998 is when we first saw this now very few things very few people can ever call themselves the original but this sneaker here it can absolutely call itself the first original Jordan sneaker for women and yes you see this is uh here to mimic the actual WNBA basketball now to me it just feels like really textured leather not necessarily a basketball in your hands but if you go to the back heel you see a jump man there but also that iconic W for this pair and that's what you're known that's what I would say you can associate with the women's Jordan OG is the W somewhere provided on the shoe which is on the back heel now again, this shoe for the upper has suede and it's in that coconut milk color all around the top. Now the only thing I would say I'm not a big fan of is the coconut milk, the, the actual suede on the front. It's not very thick and that's what will cause some of the dimpling to happen on that toe box. So just be cautious of that. When you look at the tongue, it features a larger jump man than a Jordan 13 tongue will. So I'm a fan of that also. And then on the insole, you see here, coconut milk with a black jump man as well. Now, if you flip the shoe over, you can see the outer sole has that same herringbone traction as a Jordan 13 will. Hence, you can see all the inspiration. Now, I would say we'll get to the comparison of the outer sole because the women's actually seems to have a little bit more traction, or at least I would think just looking at it. But what I love about this sneaker Every single shoe released by Jordan that has anything to do with women has to pay respects to this pair here because I'm convinced without this, we wouldn't have the pairs that we have today. And here is the Air Jordan 13 Red Flint modeled after the OG Flint that so many of us love, appreciate, and adore. I actually doubled up on that. But I feel like a winner having the 13 and then also the women women's uh, Jordan OG in my collection this month, May 2020. And let's just break down a few comparisons here. Now you can see the Jordan 13 actually takes more of a minimal approach on the upper because that dimple textured material there is just one piece versus on a women's OG, you actually have the swoop design that's in there. So please sound off in the comment section. Are you more a fan of that minimal look or do you like more detailing that we see on the women's pair? And then for the front profile or the front look, I should say, you can see how 
how the tongue does actually feature a higher profile on the 13 than with the women's OG. I would actually prefer that higher tongue. I'm actually a fan of that. I know people don't like the squeaking in the tongue and I totally respect it, but I would like a higher tongue there. And then again, if we flip it over, so you have suede on the midsole of the 13, which is something I've said in a previous video for the unboxing. I appreciate, I like, it's not done a whole lot. You don't have that on the women's pair, as you can see. And then if we flip them both over, what I was talking about in terms of traction, I would think the women's OG might have a little more traction. I say that because if you look near the front of the shoe, the herringbone is actually just split into two larger pieces versus segmented into four individual parts parts uh, for the 13. So again, I haven't put these on court inside or outside, but there's just something that leads me to believe they may have a little bit more traction for that game on the court. And here is an on foot. So let's talk about sizing because this is not my actual size. I actually am settling for a size eight because that's what someone was able to secure for me. Now, this runs even bigger than the 13. I will say that right now for sizing. I have room in a six, which is true to size for me in the 13 pairs I have. And I would say go, go true to size on this or even go down a half size. If you don't like a lot of room in your actual sneaker, go down a half size in the women's Jordan OG. That's what I would recommend. It's not so much space that it's uncomfortable for me or that it's slouching or that I think it would ever give me blisters. However, as you can see, if I want the jump man to still show, I need to actually double knot the laces by not going all the way up to the top eyelid. You have the carbon fiber plate. You have the comfort of the Air Jordan 13. However, in the women's Jordan OG design, this is by far one of the best pickups I've had this entire year of 2021. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still finish and run. What's going on, everybody? It's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ, aka TJ Two Shoes Change. Thank you so much again for tuning in to a brand new video. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. You guys already know that helps creators out more than you know. And just a special note to creators: I really hope you updated your tax form because if not, mm, the the way the the way the rules are changing when it comes to Google AdSense, that might come back to bite you. So I hope you took care of that. Two Shoes Crew, thank you guys again so much for tuning in. You guys are the real MVP. So yes, it may be an extended weekend. However, that weekend is due to the men and women that have given their lives for this country. So I just didn't want that to go without being said. Greatly appreciate that and the sacrifice their friends and family go through as well because they're no longer here. And I just, I think that's an important part uh, to mention for today. Now we already unboxed the women's Jordan OG and coconut milk. And it's one of my favorite pickups for 2021. And we've had, a ma we've had so many amazing pickups like i'll have to run down in june all of the pickups I, I have so far for the first half of the year and just just no judgment all right no judgment there but why is this pair so special well, again like i mentioned this was truly the first this this sneaker could say it was the real og for sneakers from jordan brand for women and again not a lot of people things can say they're an og when it comes to life in general Many things aren't brand spanking new. They are just simply redone. They're, they're done with a different perspective, maybe different nuances, um, an approach, a style. Everything can be different. Remember what my mom would always tell me, you know, nothing's new under the sun. It's all kind of been done before. And when you look at the OG, it was truly the first of its kind and it still attracted men and women back then in 1998. And so when we received a retro recently, so many flocked to it. Now I didn't go for any of those initial colorways, but this one here really caught my eye. And I think it's funny, it really kind of drives home the message of, you know, things that came before us and then there will be so many things that come after us like look at this og for women and now look at all of the other female designers that are actually out there creating for jordan brand and adidas and new balance and reebok all of these different brands have amazing women you know designing their own pairs and when you think of jordan brand specifically you have the alele may you have melody asani you have kelsey amy for the pe's for the nba players and college players you have um, um, also, uh, 
Kelsey, um, Keely Alexis before she was no longer with the brand. Just uh, creating amazing artwork on foot for us to wear. And with all of these women, I think they just set an amazing example. Uh, I've never seen them negate the work that Vashti Cola did in 2010, right? Because who knows where we would be with the female designers today if it wasn't for a Vashti Cola in 2010, receiving her collaboration with Jordan Brand on the Jordan 2 silhouette. And I think that is just, it's beautiful to see that support, giving each other their roses. It's a beautiful thing to see. And I, more importantly, want to give the roses to Kim, Sophia, and Coco. These are the three women on the design team for this specific Women's Jordan OG Coconut Milk. So I'll be sure to link their Instagrams below just because, again, we need to give each of these women their roses. They are doing amazing things in this space. And the farther they go, the farther the next woman can go. I'm a true support and uh, proponent of that. Um, hence me also wearing my maid for the WT. Um, if you don't follow them, they gravely just they greatly support women whether it's in sneakers sports sneaker culture uh so just give them a follow if you don't already on instagram so now we've seen the shoe i've given you guys some tips on sizing as well as how comfortable the shoe is but when we look at fits i love the fact that the sneaker is really neutral with the coconut milk as the base color for the upper of the sneaker so that allows you to throw on fear of god essentials and cream or buttercream depending on which one you have it allows you to also wear something like the the shirt dress that I have on. It's just a button up oversized dress. It is more so in that coconut milk, but also like a faded coral colorway, which I think still coordinates well with the orange in the actual women's OG. And it doesn't, it doesn't take away from your ability to also rock it with WNBA apparel. So whether it's the actual WNBA logo t-shirt or my Slam Magazine Sue Bird shirt, you guys already know. Um, I've shown you that before, and that's one of my favorite pickups as well. I'm trying to acquire quite a bit of women's uh, wear when it comes to the WNBA. Again, I have another WNBA jersey on the way, and you all have a chance to see the uh, my Diana Taurasi jersey here. And I have the older one. I don't have the new one yet, guys, so just bear with me i'm working on it i'm stacking up the arsenal to support women just in any way that i can that is uh that's something important that's always important that's always special listen all those women shining in the WNBA, you know what? All those stars shine together beside each other, against each other on the court. And I don't think it gets any better than that. And the next generation that comes up, they're going to do exactly the same thing. And that's what we need to continue to push the culture forward for sports and sneakers when it comes to women. So I thank you for tuning into this video, for all the support you've ever given me over the three years that I've been in this space on sneaker YouTube. It's quite... Ooh, it's quite a, quite a journey to say that I've done this for three years. We're almost at a thousand uploads and no slowing down, no stopping. Truly enjoy what I do here for you guys and the support that you give me. So with that being said, I hope you are able to enjoy time with friends and family today and just, you know, take it easy. As always, act your age and not your shoe size. Peace out.